you're watching this video, that means I haven't scrapped this video at all. Because it's crazy, man. What's up, guys? Hi. I'm Crane, and welcome to another dumb video where I teach you to do stuff. Yes. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make Valorant thumbnails for your YouTube videos or live streams or whatever. Um, that's what you're going to That's what we're going to do. So to make this thumbnail, we will need two softwares. One is Blender and another is Photoshop. Easy as that, right? And in this part, I'm going to be sorry. And in this part, I'm going <laughs> to... And in this part, I'm going to show you how to use Blender to create those renders with you see in other YouTube videos and live streams. I mean that it that sentence made sense and it's a rhyme. Wow. So in this part, I saw you how to use black. Beautiful. And in the next part, uh, I'm gonna show you how to convert that render to your thumbnail by by a Photoshop and yeah. Oh guys, <laughs> so I'm not a Photoshop nerd or a Blender nerd or <laughs> basically nothing. Uh, <laughs> and I'm aware of that. So things can be way shorter than it's shown in the video. So Crane, why are you even making this video, you dumb? Uh, because I want to. I mean, does that make any sense? You can call me dumb. That's fine. That's okay. That's that, that's really fine. But if I'm a dumb, <laughs> you are a cookie <laughs> guy. For even clicking and watching this video. <laughs> oh god. Okay. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. So basically, I just want to show the way I do it. I learned it maybe like one year ago and like. And just I want to teach that stuff. That's like, a, you know, that's a part of the learning process. It's, not, it's, it's like a large part of the learning process to teach that thing you learn. Uh, and that, that's, that's why I'm making this video. I don't know. <laughs> I just don't know. Uh, this video is gonna be a massacre. I guess, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, let's start the video, I guess. Okay, that's the longest intro I ever did. I'm sorry. I mean, I don't know why you're watching. I don't know. I don't know. I don't care. So, let's start the video, man. Throughout this video, I'll be using this version of Blender. I know it's a one of a hell of a backdated Blender software, but it gets my job done and I use it for that. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't update it. I don't know. I guess it, it will be pretty much same to your latest version of Blender. So once you install Blender, just take a deep and... <laughs> okay, I'm just joking. Just open Blender and just I'm just telling you to calm down. Don't go insane. Don't go crazy. I know it looks crazy, right? Just what the f*** is this? What the f*** is that? What the f*** is that, man? Don't worry. Don't worry. Just calm down. This just requires a bunch of clicks and just Valorant coast mode, a bunch of Among Us tasks, and you're done, basically. So POV, you open Blender and you'll be like, Bro, Crane, what the f*** I should do, man? What the hell I should do? Okay, so the first thing you need to know about is selection. So if you press W, it changes the selection thing. So this is one type of selection. This is another type of selection. This is the one we'll be using throughout all the video. So just simply go to the selection type, this selection type and select all of this bullshit and just press delete. Delete? Yeah, just delete, yeah. Now before you just jump right into it, you just need to know the basic controls of Blender, right? And if you already know, just there is timestamp you can skip easily. So, to jump in, not the suicide. To hover around, you need to hold the my middle mouse button and just drag to do like that. To go up and down, just shift and hold middle mouse button and go up and down with your mouse, right? To zoom, control and middle mouse button to zoom. You can also use scroll to just, you know, zoom like this. That's for the different scenarios. If you made it up to this far, man, congratulations. Your patience is way better than me. Damn, you're fucking nuts, dude. Toba, toba. Now listen to me, Gigi Jet. <laughs> oh, never mind. So the first thing you need to do is go to the files option. Yeah, and just, just hit the append, okay? And just don't worry. I'll put the link in the description. You need to download this file and just... For legal and copyright reason, I just want to make sure and just want to say that I don't own or not claiming any of this model pack. Back to the video. So you simply double click on the folder and just go to the Blender model pack. Double click on the agents. And now here I will try to import chamber. So select chamber 
and then hit on a pin right and now you get to go to collection right and double click on this this will be your player model which you want to append great job you appended this thing really good screen why is white okay just simply click on that if you click on that boom all the material will load it will take some uh, time but yeah there we go this is color model it's not white okay just you can't tell me now we can always click on this button to just end chamber suffering of pinching needles now you need to know just a couple of things okay make sure it's an object mode right you can simply click on the model and you can simply drag and move it to any place you want ladies except in your home obviously now if you hit s on your keyboard and move your mouse you can increase the size of the model right this and look at this Damn! Now if you hit R on your keyboard and move your mouse, you can do this rotation kind of thing like this, which we will need in future. Ayo, my crane. So what came from nowhere, boy? Oh, I just saw chamber for example how to append thing right now. So what model will fit better in this topic? Now after appending your favorite Valorant model to Blender, the first thing you can do is select the, this bones, right? And go to this option over here and then go to the viewpoint display settings and then go display as octahedral so why this this would make things easier to pose like the hands and the fingers because it's chunky and big in comparison to the sticks now simply select the bones and come up here and select the pose mode right but before you even start posing you need to open dr strange third nine <laughs> to realize and visualize how you want your character to be posed. For example, here I want to pose Sova like this, holding this banner. We need to pose the fingers like this. We can add the banner later in the Photoshop. So let's do right now. All right, if you zoom in and click one of these brown bones, you can see a tiny little black dotted line. Basically, that refers how this bone gonna behave if you just rotate it. On the other hand, there are some green bones. Don't touch it. They, they, you know, if you just mess around with that green ones, they just do, you know, those weird bunch of stuff. For normal family friendly stuff, you don't need that. What you can actually do is select one of these bones and press H to make them boom and Alt H to make them reappear like that. Now what I'm going to be doing here actually, I'm going to select the bone right there. I'm going to turn off the bones. I'm going to press R and move my mouse slowly. That will pose the hands like this. Look at this. How easy is that, right? How easy is that? If you make any mistake, you can always press Ctrl Z to just undo this thing. Uh, yeah, Fortnite dance. Wow, wow, crane, wow. Now, if you press R one more time and just move your mouse, you can pose the bone like this precisely, which is, uh, you know, nuts. All right, enough. For now, I'm gonna go Seco mode. I just selected the bone and press R, and now I'm posing, kind of, you know, trying to pose the hand like this by pressing one R. And then uh, I will use, you know, the double R to just uh, pose it a bit more like this. Yes. And I know it's boring, so... But if you're getting help, please drop a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Nice promotion. And now I'm timelessing the whole shit out of this thing, man. Let's go. There's another thing I want to say that... There is two kind of zoom, and one is control drag zoom, one is the scroll zoom. You need to use both of them while doing it, because, uh, you know, both are necessary, you know? Both are necessary. Really, Giga? Crane? I didn't know why I said that. Damn, Sofa. Oh, shit. <laughs> Cut. I just want to give you a short, quick tip. While posing these bones, you need to focus on a finger, not the whole fist, okay? For this example, here, look at this finger. It is parallel to the banner. It's just in a 90 degree with the fist. I guess, yeah, that's true. So instead of focusing on the fist and like getting complex things in, in your head, just focus on the finger, make it parallel to the banner. Imagine you're doing it for the banner and it would be easier. And if you're having a problem with octahedral bones display, you can always change it to sticks, which can be easier for you if you want. For me, you know, octahedrals are easier, right? That. I'm gonna flash through this process. I wanna quickly mention that I do live streams on my Twitch channel. So if you're interested in that, if you wanna catch me live and see hang out with me, please throw me a follow. Twitch.tv slash the link in the description below. I'm actually scared. I will be read it. Now to pose this bones precisely, you can select the bone and click this icon and you can manually rotate their axis to get that exact pose you want, which is great it's time consuming but it, it gets the job done precisely man just throw some you know heavy metal or like the music you loved in your ass and just <laughs> so just throw some music which you love in your ears and just keep doing it easy as that have patience and keep doing it 
Now, this looks pretty decent. Not gonna say the best. Yeah, it is what it is. Now, we're gonna add some camera. Make sure it's an object mode right. And now, you have to press Shift A. And then, you have to select camera. Right. Now, you'll be like, whoa, great. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Bro, no. Just look at that. There is a camera layer been added over there. But no. How we can navigate? Just press zero on your keyboard. Right? The, the moment you're gonna press zero on your keyboard, boom. You can see the camera is there. Now, you have to press Shift F, which is basically a default key, which takes you to the Valorant Ghost mode. Throw, you can navigate any place you want by WASD. Oh, that could that. Not that, that. Basically, you can navigate your camera to wherever you want by simply WASD and moving your mouse like a ghost mode in a game, which is crazy easy, right? Now, you have to select the cam, set the camera right away. Like in this photo, the camera is up to like there, right? So, that's the main thing. You have to adjust the camera a bit, which, you know, makes sense and like that, uh, right there. I just want to mention that while setting up your camera, you may end up <laughs> facing this. Don't worry, all, in this situation, all you gotta do is right click, select camera angle, and just adjust this camera angle a bit by WASD and like zoom, and you'll get the right angle possible. By the way, we will need this option anyways, just to precisely position our camera to get the best shot possible, like this. Like I'm, I'm tweaking and doing like stuff like that. Uh, now, once you're done with it, we gotta turn on all the bones because we wanna make Sova to look straight into our eyes in this camera, right? So before we just start working on that part, I just wanna mention that if you press middle mouse button while in camera mode, you'll get out of the camera mode and you'll be like, whoa, what can I do? You have to press zero again to just go back to the camera mode like this, easy as that. Now I'm gonna zoom in and find Sober's neck bone to just crack it, right? <laughs> Never mind. Uh, so maybe this is the bone to, you know, bone neck bone. Maybe, maybe the, I assume this, this, this is the one. Okay, yeah, this is the one. Okay, right. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch back to the camera mode. I'm gonna turn off the bones and I'm gonna pose it in this way. Just. Ah, uh, it's looking at the camera. I want to make sure he's looking at the camera. Oh, that looks pretty decent. Now, the only thing is missing is the uh, emotion in Sova's eyes. So, to do that, we gotta work with the eyebrow bones. You need to mess around with the eyebrow bones. Like, stretching it, rotating it, and doing everything. We just, like, want to make a face like Sova saying, We don't want this war. Like, nobody wants this war. Come on. Can, this is the destruction to our beautiful earth. So, like, that's the emotion we need to add in his eyes so to do that you gotta experiment with this uh eyebrow bones like e you know go through each eyebrow bones just you know you know adjust it a bit like you know just rotate it a in a bit like that shows the emotion the way i'm doing it just do it the way i'm doing it so like yeah basically i'm trying my best to do that now we're gonna go to the lip bones and i'm gonna make it like really sad so to do that like you can you can just you know just drag this thing a bit like this and just you know drag it a bit lower like this so it's like it's like a sad face like the lips down thing like that like like i'm doing that i, I know i'm saying a lot of like things like this is pretty decent Look. You can basically create any emotions through that eyebrow thing. You, you can create uh, anger, you can create uh, happiness, you can create uh, all of basically this thing. So I'm gonna fast forward this process right now here, you know, basically. But before the fast forward, I just wanna thank you for all your support about this channel. I don't know why you're watching this video. I don't even know why you're making this video. That doesn't make any sense. As we're done with the facial expression emotes and whatever you say, now we have to work on the lighting and other stuff. So for do, so to do that, select the settings tab and just click on it. So basically what we're gonna do here is we're gonna add some physical lighting. We're gonna throw Sova into a freaking desert or like a freaking map and we're gonna do that. You don't need to think about anything. All you need to do is just come into this object thing, select it and set it to world. And you'll see these two appear sucking each other's soul right there. Just don't need to touch that just leave it like that we'll be working with that but if you just just leave it like that right just leave it if you select this render mode like soba goes into darkness the multiverse of madness in the darkness and the dark magic toba, toba. which we're gonna fix that here we need physical lightning aka hdri before we even touch anything go to the render properties and i just want to say that if you turn on this ambient occlusion and bloom that adds this kind of glow so if you're looking for that some kind of like that you can turn it on but for now we're gonna leave it like that before adding hdri there's one more thing to do we have to go to this layout tab and seduce over Never mind, just select it to object mode, right? And then press Shift A. And then go to empty. 
and then select plane axis now double click on that layer and name it HDRI rotator you can name it anything you want basically I'm naming it right that and leave it like that now move your crosshair over the sighting tab over here and move your damn crosshair over this black thing and hit shift A on your keyboard and search for a thing called environment texture. Yeah, right there. Select that thing and just select on this folder icon and open. And now I'll put the link in the description of the HDRI files that I used here. So basically just open your basically folder which contains the HDRI. Select what you want. I'm selecting the bind and open image, right? Now, one more thing to do. You have to do the Among Us electrical task. Phew! Is that right? Now again, press Shift A and search for thing called texture coordinate. Yeah, right there. Just select on, select that. Right, boom. Now you got another Among Us task to do. You have to connect the vector with the object, I suppose. Yeah, you gotta connect the vector with the object. Yeah, r like that. Among Us. Now you g in object, you have to select the HDRI rotator which just created the plane axis. Now you have to come in the background and make the strength to the five. I suppose, yeah. The ones you make it five, you just select the render mode and uh, what? Wait, what? <laughs> oh, never mind. Try disconnecting and reconnecting the stuff like that. This may work. Oh yeah, it worked nice. Now this looks pretty decent, but we're still using EV render engine, and you can achieve better quality by cycles render engine. So just go here and select it to cycles. Now warning: your PC may crash while doing it if you don't have a good GPU. It may crash, but this gives you the most realistic quality. Now go to the film options and make sure you uncheck this transparent box and if you go to the render mode you can see the bind map basically. So now we're gonna be adjusting the lighting. So to do that first of all you gotta go to the HDRI rotator. I mean just select the HDRI rotator and now press R and as just that you just rotate that according to your need. Right now when I'm reviewing this footage I just realized I'm a full dumbass. I mean, who even does that? I selected cycles, bro. It's not only that. I selected HDR rotator and press R to see real-time preview with 1660 Super. And guess what happened? <laughs> so simply select the cycles and <laughs> <laughs> never mind. Select the e EV as the render engine and now select the HDR rotator and press R to move this axis to set your character where you need so basically the sun is in the in the top of the sofa over there so to get the sunlight we have to align sofa facing in this way yeah like this so then we will get the best result i suppose now check the transparent box so you can get the transparent render and set the render engine to cycles so you can see how it will look realistic now go to the render options and make it to like 250 and leave it to 32. So basically what it does is just bu bumping up the quality a bit. Now if you have a good GPU, just uh, select it from CPU to GPU compute. That would be good for you. But if you have a good CPU, then go for the CPU compute. So yeah, that is that. I have a GT 1660 Super, so I'm going to use that. Now you just uh, come all you are gonna find the option called B noise. Oh, yeah, here it is So go, come to here and then come down and check this denoising box So basically it just denoise the render and increase the quality of the render now come to this tab and go all the way down and Here set the compression to zero because we need the best quality possible leave the color depth as it is leave the other setting as it is We don't need to mess around with this settings now you can turn off this ambient occlusion because if you turn it on it just goes super wide it's time for render baby just come to the render tab you can render it from here or you can just press f12 now the moment i'm gonna pressing f12 my pc as i'm recording in the same pc it will lag so i can't show you the time lapse of the rendering because uh, it, it will not gonna record so now i'm pressing render button in three two one so how, look at this it started rendering like that so in every chunk and here's the after rendering so you can see it took three minutes something seconds to just render and here is the final result uh, it it's not the best render but it looks pretty decent now we gotta save this file so we gotta go to image and save as and now you have to go to the targeted directory where you want to save it i just want to quickly say if you're still watching i don't know you're watching i don't know what i'm making thanks for watching and here just uh, give it some name uh, I mean, i'm gonna say name name it like sova stop swar.png and save as the image easy as that now don't forget to save the blender file
If you're like me, I'm the worst guy in this world. I forgot to save the Blender file. I just forgot to save the, the thing I just created for like three, you know, two hours, one hour, one hour. Oh my god. Okay, just save it. Don't be like me. Just save it. Easy as that. Just just save it. And also, you know, instead of cycles mode, just always save it in EV mode. So, you know, every time you're going to open the Blender file, your PC is not going to crash. Just a quick tip. So, thanks for watching. And if you want to see how I convert it into the real thumbnail of real thumbnail what you are saying right now, just check the Photoshop part, the next part of this video. Uh, see ya over there. And if, if this video is helpful, please drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Twitch to catch me live. Follow me on Twitter. I upload, you know, upload some really dank dying light memes over there. Helicopter, helicopter. Uh, basically, that's all I have to say. That's all I wanted to say. Thanks for watching. Uh, stay safe, stay human, good night, good luck, see ya in the next part, next video, whatever, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, what can I say? You good jets? What, 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 what did I do? What did I do? <laughs> <laughs> Bro. <laughs>